Hello guys and welcome back to another Jonas Central tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make procedural bricks in Blender. Anyways, let's get started. So I'm going to delete the default cube and add in a plane so I can see what I'm doing better. Feel free to use whatever you use to make bricks. Okay, let's do this. So create a new material and add in, you guessed it, a brick texture. Why though? I don't know, maybe because it's a brick texture. All right, so add the color of the brick texture into the base color, and as you can see, we have a fantastic high quality brick texture right here. Very, very detailed, but we're about to make it even better. So to start off, change the mortar smoothness to 0.8. When you just add in this node, it's gonna look like uh, mortar sm or smo. It's fine, just change that to 0.8, and you can see these edges right here will be smoothed out. That's our first step. Next, duplicate this brick texture. Forget about this one right here, it doesn't matter and change the colors of your original brick texture. Color one being the brightest color of brick you're gonna have, color two being the darkest, and then mortar I'll tell you once I choose my colors. So yeah, these colors look about good. I might make color two actually a bit brighter. Yeah, that looks good. Now, for the mortar, make it like a gray color because that's what the paste in between bricks usually look like. If you ever seen a different color, feel free to just make it that color. But in my case, I'm going to make mine gray or point for va point four value if you really want to know. So now we're going to start adding in the displacement. So first off, add in a displacement node and plug displacement into displacement. Makes sense, right? Next. Add in the color of the other brick texture into the height of this displacement node. Awesome. Now, as you can see, it is doing displacement, but it doesn't look good at all. That's because it's still very flat and very 2D. We're going to fix that. So now, add in a mix RGB. Just put it into open space, and now add in two noise textures one being a scale of 5, one being a scale of 10. Make sure the detail is 16 on both of the nodes. Now plug the fac of both of those noise textures into the mix RGB and then duplicate the mix RGB. Put the mix RGB in between the displacement node and the brick texture and then plug the mix RGB with the two noises into the other mix RGB. I'm sorry that this is a very big jumble of words, but trust me, the result is going to look good. Now, as you can see, we have a fantastic looking brick texture. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you know this isn't the end. This looks awful, but that's okay, because here's how you don't make it look that bad. So it's kind of hard to make this setup look good in Eevee, unfortunately. There's not really much you can do. So we are going to use cycles for this. So if you're making an EV render, I'm sorry if you're stuck with this. I'll make sure to put cycles in the title so if you're using EV, I don't screw you over. Anyways, let's make this look good. So change your render engine to cycles. Big surprise. Now, select your plane or whatever you're using and give it a nice, delicious, high subdivision. If your computer can handle it, that is. Oh boy. Awesome. Now nothing has changed yet. Go to the material tab right here. Scroll down until you reach settings, open settings, change displacement from bump only to displace and bump. Now as you can see, we got this beautiful, beautiful displaced brick texture. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Once again, I'm joking. This also looks really bad but that's because we haven't changed the scale of our displacement yet. So change the scale to something like 0.1. Oh yeah, and before you do anything, don't forget to shade smooth uh, whatever object you're using with the bricks. It'll make it look just a bit nicer, and sometimes when you don't shade smooth it, it tends to look really bumpy and weird, and when you smooth it, you actually see what you're dealing with. Now, as you can see, the bricks are still kind of choppy. They are sticking out a lot they don't look that good. 
So to fix that, we're going to change this mix RGB right here from a FAC of 0.5 to something like 0.7. Now as you can see, the bricks are reduced and the bumpiness of the bricks are increased. Now of course you can mess around, make whatever kind of displacement you want here. If you want like a mystical swirly brick, you can do that. Doesn't really matter, it's just that this is what I kind of like to use. I got just normal bricks, I got the two noise textures. It's very simple and it's good for a tutorial. Now I feel like the strength of dis the displacement is still a little high, so I'm going to change it to, let's try 0 0.05. And that suits what I like. Awesome! Now before I finish off, I'm going to turn the roughness up from 0.5 to 0.7 because I've never really seen really reflective bricks. If it's raining, or if you want to make bricks made of glass, I mean, go ahead. No one's going to stop you. But in my case, this is what I'm going for. And I'm finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it was helpful. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you guys later.